what is up y'all welcome back to another video today is food prep day for Easter Sunday dinner well one day one of food prep day so um I believe I told you all in the last video what my plans were well my family and I's plan for Easter Sunday and if you're not new around here you know I'll be in the kitchen I'll be burning cooking it up <laughs> but yeah so I'm cooking for dinner on Sunday and I like to plan and I like to spread my cooking and food prep out so it won't be so much on me at one time so per usual, I needed to pace myself. So right now, I'm about to prep my sweet potatoes, dice my onion, and probably in a few more hours, I'm going to clean and season my chicken and let that marinate for 24 hours. Let me go over what I'm cooking. I have to prepare the um brown sugar honey ham i have to prepare the rosemary baked chicken i'm preparing dirty rice green beans and potatoes i'm making candy yams and i think that is all hopefully i'm not forgetting anything candy yams green beans um baked chicken ham and dirty rice yes it's everything five things i have five things to prepare so what i'm planning to do today or tonight is go ahead and clean peel and slice my sweet potatoes i want to store them in the refrigerator then i'm going to dice my onions store them in the refrigerator I'm going to clean and season all of my chicken and store that so it can marinate in the refrigerator. And I may or may not go ahead and brown my meat for my dirty rice. So I think that's what I'm going to do. That way I can have pretty much the basis of that out of the way. It'll be pretty much smooth sailing from there for me. Um, I really enjoy prepping because it just makes it so much easier, especially when I'm doing everything um, that I'm preparing myself. So yeah, let me show you what my setup looked like and what I have going in the kitchen thus okay. far. Okay, so far here's my setup for my sweet potato section. I have my basket of sweet potatoes and I have my red potatoes here and my onions so I got my cutting board my peeler my knife and my knife sharpener love 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 this knife this knife is a Dexter it was a gift from my father-in-law he got me this set then I have my ziploc bags here that I'm going to store my potatoes in this is my bowl and then I have my trash bag for my peels. So I already have my setup for this first because I'm going to start here. This is going to be the first thing I get done. Now let me show you all of my meat that I have. Okay, this is what the sink looks like. <laughs> this is all of the meat that I have to prepare. I have um, white and dark meat. I have chicken wings, chicken legs, chicken thighs. Um, it's about 75% thawed out. So, then I have a ham in here, some seasoned blend. This is the meat that I'm going to be cleaning and seasoning tonight. It looks like a lot. It kind of is. But um, I'm used to it. Don't be afraid for me. I can handle it. I got this these chicken wings from Pub, not from Publix. I got these chicken wings from Sam's, Sam's Club. And then I got these smaller packs. They were actually buy one, get one from Publix. So I caught that while it was on sale. Something that I don't have out is the bacon. 
yeah i don't have bacon or what else something else out it might just be bacon so yeah this is all the meat then of course i have my cheese because i froze my cheese i have that in the refrigerator as well now over here i already have like my seasonings pulled out my um beef broth my noodles and my dirty rice i already have that pulled out so i kind of just like to go through and pull everything that i think i'm going to need and have that sitting out already then you got mr max down here this is my sous chef he's going to be helping me you ready are you ready to help are you ready <laughs> oh, he just being here securing the place while I'm in the kitchen so yeah this is my layout and that is my plan I just wanted to pick up open this video up and get started um I debated about recording this because I've shown you I think these recipes several times but I guess like myself I love watching uh, some of my favorite uh, YouTubers, so I don't want to deprive you all. So I'm going to just show you a little footage anyway, okay? So what I'll do is I'll pick y'all back up shortly when I start cutting my potatoes, okay? Let's go. <laughs> I can see it in your eyes Oh yeah But there is no need for sorrow Cause I will be with you every second of my life Sometimes it's just another day to get through But it's not easy when you fly from the truth to go. I plan on cooking these. Um, not tonight. I'm just going to store these in the refrigerator. And I have to show you when it's time to cook them on how I prepare them. To me, it's pretty simple and it's always delicious. So I'm going to put these in the refrigerator and get started on the thing I don't want to do. Dice these onions. I kind of wish I would have 
I just bought them already diced. But anyway, I have to do what I have to do. So let me get my space cleaned up and get these put in the fridge. All right, I'm back. I ended up cutting up, well, dicing up one onion. And I think I'm getting better at my onion cutting because I only had one hour water up a little bit. It wasn't bad as it normally it normally is. I've been trying to figure this onion thing out. And I read that if you don't cut the core off, then it's not as bad. So I didn't show you what I did, but that's what I've been doing lately when I'm trying to dice. Uh, this is the core, so I cut this part off, of course, take all the peel off, and then what I did for the dice is I went in and sliced all around, well, I cut that part, went in and sliced all around the onion, then I turned it over and just cut into it, so I diced it like that, so it didn't make my eyes burn or water like it normally does. So happy to have that out of the way, because I don't know, I have not been liking doing the onions lately I got me a little drink some strawberry lemonade so I needed me a little refresher so so far I got those things done I think what I'm going to do next is the biggest thing is cleaning and seasoning this chicken my lord I don't want to, but I need to get it done because that's going to save me so much time as well as it's going to make the chicken just that much better as far as um, the seasoning, letting the seasoning soak in and marinate. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm debating if I still want to fry up my ground turkey for my dirty rice. I think I won't do that. I think I'll save that. And since I have so much meat to seize cleaning season, I think I'll just do that and let that be it for today. And I'll feel very accomplished by getting that done. So before I get started, I'm going to, of course, set my area up. I think I'm going to store it in the actual pans. Yeah, I think that'll be easy for me. If I have enough room in my outside fridge, which that's another tip. If you cook big size portions, it's best to have a, a large refrigerator or an extra refrigerator for you to store those things in. So I'm going to make some room in my fridge to be sure I can store the chicken in there. My original plan was to do a pan of dark meat and a pan of white meat, but I do believe I have more meat than can fit in one of those large tin pans. So I'll figure it out, I'll see what'll be best and um, go from there. But first I'm gonna get my pan set up, get my uh, seasoning set up, and I'll pick y'all back up. I think I'm just gonna pick y'all back up when I get ready to Season, season the meat because I don't, don't want to move no camera around while I'm doing while I'm handling the meat. So what I do is once I get the meat all clean and in the pan, I'll pick y'all back up to walk y'all through how I season um, or how I will season the meat for this particular meal. So is that okay with you? That's all right. Okay, perfect. So let me get set up and I'll see y'all shortly. It's really not shortly, but it's going to feel shortly because I'm going to come back instantly after this clip, okay? Okay, guys, I finally got my chicken clean and sorted out and put into my pans. I have a pan of chicken wings and then I have a pan of chicken thighs and drumsticks. And then I have my seasonings here. Um, I got some nature season onion powder, uh, garlic, paprika, complete seasoning, some rosemary, parsley, Creole season, and some sazon. And then I have my EVOO here. And we about to get this thing popping. 
Okay, y'all, I'm just gonna get started. I'm gonna make this simple and quick. Okay, so I love, what I'd like to do is take a, take, this is vegetable oil. I'm so glad I realized this. I like to take olive oil. <laughs> I like to take olive oil and drizzle it on my chicken. And what this does is help the seasoning stick. I don't measure, I just kind of eyeball it. You all know I don't measure <laughs> unless really I'm baking. So I just do it until the uh to my soul is satisfied. So I go in and drizzle my olive oil. I feel like I need a little bit more over here. Okay. One more dash for good measure. And then I go in and just sprinkle all of my seasonings. Again, I told y'all I'm using nature seasoning. And once I finish this, I'm going to go in and just rub everything in with my gloves. So don't you worry. So every piece of chicken can be coated. It's actually the end of that bottle. I'm going in with some onion powder. And if you can imagine, if you a cook, your girl gonna be sneezing in just a second. <laughs> so I normally like to put onions and bell peppers in, in my meat, but because I don't have any, that's why I'm doing the onion powder. I'm going in with a little garlic. Not too much because I'm using a little garlic pepper. Here's my garlic pepper. If you don't know, you see by now that your girl loves her food to have flavor. This is the Sazoon. I discovered this probably about a year ago and I've been in love with how this tastes on meat, especially grilled meat. Then I'm going to go in with a little complete. This is my rosemary. I want to have more rosemary on this batch of chicken. And then paprika for color mostly. I'm going to put the Creole only on my wings. And then parsley. As you can see, I got all my chicken coated. I like to see my seasoning on my chicken. This chicken is gonna be marinating for probably about 18 hours. So I get ready to put it in the oven. And something, I, something else I like to do is take my chicken wings and fold, fold the wing behind it. 
I do that when I fry chicken, which I probably haven't fried chicken in years, but that way it won't, or I do it when we grill. That way it just won't be open and taking up too much space. So I like to do it like that. That's why you see them folded in. But yeah, that is pretty much it. I'm going to cover this and place this in the refrigerator until I get ready to bake it off. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hey y'all. Oh, looking for my cup. I'm back in the kitchen. It's time to get this meal somewhat completed. <laughs> I did a lot of prep work on yesterday and today I'm about to finish up the rest of my thing. I was just trying to figure out what I'm about to do, what I'm gonna do first and figure out how I'm going to, in what order I'm going to get things done. I really wanted to, um. take y'all along as I go and talk y'all through it, but I don't know how this gonna work out. But either way, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing and I'm gonna eventually, um, I can talk y'all through it later, but I don't wanna get distracted. I need to just get this stuff done so I can have me a seat because your girl worked today. And uh, yeah, I haven't sat down because when I sit down, I ain't gonna feel like getting up. So I came in, changed my clothes, washed my hands, and I'm about to get straight into it, okay? So today I have to make green beans with potatoes. I have to make dirty rice. I need to, what else I need to make? What else I need to make? Um, prep my mac and cheese. And I have to cook my candy yams. And the last thing I think I'm gonna do is bake my chicken. So, honestly, because I have a lot of things that need, that need to go in the oven. I have a ham that needs to bake, mac and cheese that needs to bake, and two big pans of chicken that needs to bake. So my chicken is probably gonna be my last thing that I do. I'm thinking what I want to do is, uh, complete my green beans for sure. Complete my dirty rice. I'm going to get that done and ready. But my mac and cheese, I believe I'm going to just get it all prepped and prepared and in the pan and just get up and bake it tomorrow. And then I may just do the same thing for my ham. I'm not sure. I haven't thought out, thought about if I want to just throw my ham in the in the crock pot or if I want to just put that in there later in the roaster. I haven't thought that through yet, but I'll figure it out by the time I finish um, cooking these green beans and this dirty rice. What I could do, now that I'm thinking about it, I could either throw my ham, and y'all saw, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking out loud, it's my brain. I can either put my ham in the oven because my ham got to bake with the size that it is for about an hour and a half. I can throw that in there while I make my green beans, my dirty rice, and put my mac together. Because it'll probably be about that much time. I could do that. That way, when I'm done with that, I can just go ahead and throw my candy yams in the oven. Let that cook. Then, the last thing I really want to put in there anyway is the chicken. That sound like a plan. What y'all think? I think that's gonna be the move. So first thing I need to do is get my ham so I can throw that in the oven before I start on anything else. I already got my hand, my oven warming up. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. So what I'm gonna do for my ham is, of course it comes with the little pack. I don't use it, I make my own sauce. But what I do is put it in the oven, let it bake for about an hour. Um, an hour and a half, then I take it out, put my glaze on there, put it back in there for about 
10 minutes, pull it out, top it up with a little bit more glaze, put that back in there, and then it's done. So, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, because I try to, what I try to do most is make the best of my time that way, because I'm a multi-function type of person, I like to have something else going on while I'm doing this over here. So yeah, thank you, Lord. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna show y'all what my setup looked like, what I have so far before I get started. One second. Okay, so this is my ham here. Where did I get this from? I got this ham from Sam's. I love getting the spiral because it's already cut up. So that's my ham right there. Then I have my things for my green beans. I got my diced onions that I chopped up. I got some bacon, some butter, my potatoes that I still need to clean and cut up. And then I got my green beans. And then right here I have my things for my dirty rice. This is what I use for my dirty rice when I'm not trying to make it from scratch. This stuff is delicious. Trust me, it's really good and flavorful. So I got that along with some ground turkey and I got a little extra seasoning seasoning blend just in case and I got my pan sitting over here to the side but yeah so I'm gonna get my hands cleaned up and get this uh ham prepared so I can get that in the oven and I'll pick y'all up when I once I get my after I get my ham in the oven okay so I'll be right back
to step away for a minute. Just coming back in to show you what I've done. I've already placed my macaroni noodles in the boiling water that I seasoned with chicken bouillon season. Put a little uh, vegetable oil in there. Then I had to switch pots, as you can see. I ended up putting my dirty rice in my Dutch oven. What I did was put uh, three, nine cups of <laughs> beef broth. I used turkey meat, just trying to make it a little bit lighter instead of using the beef. So I used ground turkey meat and I did, ended up doing three family boxes of the Zatarain's dirty rice. Add a little bit of extra seasoning blend in there, onions, peppers. And then, what else did I do? I add a little bit of oil in here, just basically following the instructions on the box. So I'm gonna let this simmer, come to a boil for about 25 minutes. My rice should be done by then, and then I'll show y'all what it looks like for the finish, okay? Now I'm about to get started on my green beans. I had to switch over to my big pot because I realized I had more beans than I thought, so. I'm gonna use this big pot here for my green beans. I already got it warming up, so what I'm gonna do is take some thick cut bacon and cut it with my shears. That's what I'm gonna start off with. I'm gonna fry my bacon, then I'm gonna add my onions right after that. If y'all don't have some kitchen shears, these things are really, really handy. Because otherwise, I would have had to cut these with a knife. So I'm going to get this bacon fried off, take it out of the grease. Then I'm going to leave that same grease in there and go in and saute my onions and potatoes. And then I'm going to add the green beans because again... I'm using um, canned green beans this time. So I'm gonna just get my uh, potatoes all sauteed in that oil and onions and we gonna go from there, honey. I feel, I'm feeling pretty accomplished already. Probably cause I'm multitasking. So I'll pick y'all back up after my bacon get finished, okay? I'm back to show you the bacon. I'm about to get ready to take it out. It's smelling so good. So I have my whole setup over here. I'm gonna get this bacon taken out. Let me stir it one more time. Get this bacon taken out and then we can get started. With our green beans. I'm gonna let it finish cook a little bit more in this grease. Yeah, let me get a little bit more of a crunch on it and I'll be right back. Hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing. So in this same pot, I'm going to take my diced onions that I diced last night. Not all of them. And we're going to scrape that, this stuff off of the bottom of this pot. And what this is going to do is just make, make the beans have just that much more flavor, okay? Imagine how good it smells in here. Woo! Smells so good. My ham over there cutting up in the oven. On top of this, perfect. Okay, so next thing I want to do, y'all, is go ahead and put my potatoes in and get them tossed around to get some of that same good flavor.
from that bacon grease. Now I'm gonna go ahead and season this. I'm gonna go in with some minced garlic, heaping teaspoons. I'm gonna do some Creole seasoning. Some complete seasoning. I'm going to go in with some paprika. And because I don't have any chicken broth, I'm going to go in with some chicken bouillon flavor. And I'm going to have to add water in here instead of um, my chicken broth that I normally would use. So I'm going to get this stirred up. Y'all see all that flavor? Woo! So much flavor. Let me make sure y'all can see this real good. Hold on. Okay, there we go. That's a better view. Everything is looking good. So I'm going to let these potatoes cook down for a few minutes. Literally, probably about five minutes. And then I'm going to throw my green beans right on top of this. Add my water. And let it come to a simmer. Taste it one more time for flavor. And we're going to be done with the green beans. Well, I forgot. we got to add the, the bacon back on there. But... That's not a hard step at all. the dirty rice and oh my it is delicious I just tasted it so I have my 10 10 pans here I'm probably gonna have two of these probably gonna have two 10 pans of rice two 10 pans of green beans versus using just a big pan I'm not taking my shaping dishes I'm actually just gonna try to have the food warm when I take it over but yeah I feel accomplished I'm getting there I'm getting there I just sat down for a quick sit and took a bite tasted the uh, rice so because I have not eaten I don't think I've eaten today so
Um, I was asked if I wanted to have some seafood and some drinks, but I wasn't hungry at the time. Plus, I knew I had to get this done, so I'm gonna get I'm gonna get my chill on when I finish. When I finish this, I feel better being able to chill for the rest of the the evening. But anyway, I'm gonna show y'all this rice when I get done. <clears throat> Put it in the pan. I just been in here jamming to my music, singing and dancing to my music while I cook. That helped me, that helped to help the time go by. It makes it fun. So I'm gonna finish getting this rice put into these little small tin pans and I'll show y'all what it looks like when I'm done. Okay. It's my dirty rice. It came out really good. It's still steaming. So I'm gonna let it cool out on the counter and then I'll be able to put this in the refrigerator. Checking this off my list. So I'm gonna show y'all what my beans looking like. There are my beans. I ended up adding in about four and a half cups of water. And you know I told you I put that chicken bouillon flavor in there because I didn't have any chicken stock. I would have used chicken stock. Then I added in a little butter as well. But I'm bringing this up to a simmer. And then these will be done. I'm going to taste them and then once the flavor is good and the potatoes are pork tender, they will be done. So I think I got about 15 more minutes on my ham. I'm about to take that out so I can get my candy yams placed in the oven next. Sitting here stirring up the noodles to the mac. I mean, stirring up the elbow noodles and realize I don't have no. Um, I forgot to get my shredded Belveda cheese and something else. But basically, I really need to make a cheese sauce. I was not going to make a cheese sauce. I was just gonna do the quick way. Just throw this cheese in here. Do the milk. Season it top it, bake it off in the morning. But I'm trying to debate, that's a great debate right now. Do I wanna make a cheese sauce? I don't think I do. <sighs> I think I'm just gonna go without using that Velveeta because I have some block, the reason why I say that is because I have some block Velveeta. But I would have to melt, melt that Velveeta cheese down. The way I'm feeling, I'm just gonna go with what I got. I think I'm gonna go with what I have and just mix it up and roll with the punches. That's what I'm gonna do. Cause normally when I make a smaller batch of mac and cheese, I'll do a cheese sauce. Basically, <clears throat> I do butter, heavy cream or half and half, put all my cheeses in there, melt it all together, then pour it over the noodles versus I'm about to do now is just put all my cheese in here um 
add the milk, add the heavy cream, stir it up, top it and bake it in the oven tomorrow. That's what I think I'm gonna do. I feel like it'll still be good without the Velveeta. It's gonna have to be today because I'm tired. So let me get this going. I'll pick y'all back up short. Y'all, it's time to get my uh, sweet potatoes in the oven. And I can't lie, I'm feeling the burn at this point. I hadn't sat down since I came in from work, so. Your girl is feeling the burn. But it gotta get done. Has to get done. Still need a piece of bacon. Mm-hmm. So what I'm gonna do is, there's so many different ways to do candy sweet potatoes. But what I'm gonna do, and I make them all kind of ways, but this time, I'm gonna use the same method I used for, it was either Christmas or Thanksgiving, where basically, I put my potatoes in the pan just like they are and let them with no sugar, no nothing on them, run them in the oven, let them get fork tender, and then I make my candy sauce or whatever, coat it with that, and let that be it. I'm going this route because I feel like it's going to be easier for me. So, wow. This is a lot of potatoes. Oh my God. I made a lot. I call myself just gonna have this one pan. Ooh. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Yeah, I think I'm on, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. I think I'm gonna add the rest of them in here. I'm gonna bake these off. I'm sorry, I'm checking my my green beans over here bubbling. <clears throat> Make sure we're not going to cooking too fast over here. Looking good. Okay, I just need to turn that pot down. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put all these in here. I'm gonna cover these up with some foil. Let these um, get tender in the oven. And then I'll come back when I show y'all how I make my uh, glaze to go on top of them, okay?
y'all. Good morning. Happy Resurrection Sunday. Hopefully y'all are having an amazing Sunday, an amazing Resurrection Sunday. I have um, had a great morning myself. I attended church, got up and finished, had to finish getting the food ready for dinner. And now we are about to head out to my, my family's house. So Everything turned out good. I got as much footage as I can. Hopefully, I think I showed y'all pretty much everything that I prepared um, for dinner. And everything tastes really good. Um, I always like to tell my family, if it's not good, I didn't make it. <laughs> That's my little joke. So, if somebody says something nasty, which normally nobody never, never does. But, I'm like, if it's not good, I blame it on somebody else. But, um... Yeah, it's a, a beautiful day um, outside. A little, well, I think the clouds are passing over a little bit, but um, it was a little overcast, but I think the, sun, the clouds are clearing up now, so we plan to have a really good time. What else? I think that's it, y'all. We're about to just go have dinner, hang out, have fun with the family, and enjoy. So, what y'all doing today? Let me know. What you got planned? Did you attend church? Are you hanging out with your family? Are you just chilling today? Um, let me know. But um, yeah, I, we oh we were invited to one of our other family members' house. But I normally try to stretch myself and go and go to this house. That house. I'm like today. I feel like I'm just gonna stay in one place, enjoy um, family where I am, and then I have to catch up. Uh, next time with the other people because honey last time I did that it wore me out trying to go from house to house so I'm not a fan of that so I think I'm just gonna stay in one spot or whatever um I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna be doing I got my well I put my brother in charge of like a fun activity so I don't know what he came up with we shall see <laughs> So, I'll bring y'all along for as much as I can because I don't like to put, you know, people on camera who don't consent being on camera. So, you may be seeing a lot of me, per usual. But, uh, yeah, just popping in to get this, open this video up and I'll see y'all later. Mm -hmm. Okay. y'all I forgot I have a little scarf on this is not for ever I made it to my aunt's house I am the only one here right now mr. Allen went to go get some ice my aunt is still at church so I came early that way I can um, bring the uh, food that I had and get things set up and stuff so Got everything set up, got the table set up, got the cake sliced. The food is warm. <sighs> so yeah, I'm just chilling. Just chilling, y'all. Um, what else is popping? Y'all can eat. You know in my auntie house, if you see this mirror. Back in the day, my mom, my mom had the mirror like that, but it was the three of them. I don't know what happened to it but now I love it I love it it's so nostalgic for me to see decor like this and the sconces on the wall it's so nostalgic but yeah um I'm just here waiting on the people to show up um I just thought about something I left the most important piece uh, at home, I left my to-go plates. Now, mind you, she got a few to-go plates here, but she don't have that many. And hers aren't as sturdy as mine. 
So, <laughs> I'm like, dang. And then look like she got a lot of foil. This about to be a tussle. The people gonna be fighting over the aluminum foil that's left. <laughs> I'm just joking though, but I did mean to bring my own to go plates. Cause um I think the food is gonna be better tomorrow, of course. It's gonna taste better. But yeah, I'm just picking y'all up to keep me a little company because I'm here by myself. Of course, I had to come in. If you know anything about certain aunties, baby, the house was hot. It was 81 degrees in this place. I said, no, ma'am. No, 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 auntie. Uh-uh. We about to have a lot of bodies in here. We got to cool this place down. So I had to do that as the first order of business. So now it's finally cooling off because I had started to sweat a little bit. But, um... I can't I can't give her a little credit. She did have the oven on because she had just finished. She said uh, finishing up her dressing before she left for church. So I had to pop that big boy off, baby, because it had it smoking in here. But anyway, I don't even know if I'm gonna get any more footage today. <sighs> I'm just popping in for now. I may not even get any more footage. So this is probably the best time for me to. For me to record while while it's quiet and I'm here by myself. But um, for the most part, everything has gone good. I should have got me a little taste test of everything before everybody got here. That's what I should have did. Mm. But yeah, y'all. Hopefully, y'all had an amazing uh, Easter Resurrection Sunday and um, did whatever you choose to do, whether it's do nothing. Um, relax with family and friends or whatever it is that you did today hopefully it was amazing hopefully it was amazing so I'm going to check out because I don't want to just be sitting here rambling with y'all so I'm just going to chill until um everybody else starts to show up and I'll see y'all later bye y'all